Good morning from the sunny shores of Canada. Today, we're out here at about 7 a.m. hiking our way into a very northern lake. You can see it's pretty desolate out here. Not a whole lot going on. But my buddy Dan and I are gonna be spending the next three days on the ice, staying warm with the wood stove. We got the coldest storm of the winter season coming up. So, it's bound to be an adventure. Okay, well, I already messed up because I took a break in a spot that had a little bit of slush in it. And I think slush built up on the skis and it's making it a heck of a lot harder to pull. Dan's definitely made some headway on me. Now, I will be the first to admit that my sled that I'm towing right now at the second is a little bit bigger and heavier, but the slush definitely isn't helping me. <sighs> I guess it being negative five degrees Fahrenheit doesn't really help anything either. All right, we got all of our stuff out here finally. Dan and I both had to tackle that one, but we're at the spot. This is where we want to camp for the next three days. And we are way the heck out here. We got ourselves an auger and a wood splitting ax. We gotta get ourselves a camp set up here. It is not warm. Right now it's negative five degrees Fahrenheit and I need to put this phone down and get me get myself warm because it's it's not fun being sweaty and cold. I brought an energy drink out in my backpack and uh, it froze and exploded. Soaked my hat. Slow is fast, fast is slow. She's cutting. Oh yeah. I'm gonna be able to fish tomorrow. Slowly but surely. <laughs> Woo. All right, Dan's getting his uh, tip up set up right there. I'm back here with the gear. We're gonna start to get the house situation set up. All right, we got our uh, first tip up set up just 10 minutes ago. Got our holes drilled and we already got a flag up. So hopefully it's not a false alarm here. Years ago, we started using these things, little aerators to keep the uh, holes from icing up. It's really cold out here, so just that little bit of water movement helps. Uh, Barely down, it's maybe down six inches. Really? False alarm, maybe? Yeah, it's actually pulling some line now. Uh oh, line. oh, yeah, it was just sitting there. Now you want to move it, pull. move it out of the way? Yeah, you want to pull the yeah. Yep, now it's pulling. I'm gonna give him a minute. Yeah. I think he just picked it up. Yep. Okay. Let me see if anything's there. What do we know? Oh, nothing. <laughs> oh, it's exciting getting the first flag, but that one looked like a looked like a false alarm to me. Make sure your your Cisco wasn't hooked very good. It's cold out here to be playing with a wet fish. It's gonna eat it head first, just like that. Flows nicely with the fins. It'd be hard for a fish to eat something with the fins going against it. And you want those hooks pointed so when you set that hook, it's catching the fish right in the mouth. Part of the reason why it was such a pain in the butt to walk out here is because Dan and I both brought giant computer-like fish finders. It helps to make it easier to find the fish. We got the house popped up right now, but our main source of heat Tonight is gonna to be the wood stove. Right now Dan's just scanning around, trying to see if we can find a spot on the spot to set the house up at, but.
We got a flag. We got a flag. It's running. It's running and I'm not. Still got it. Should I just give her? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Set it. Make sure it's in. Make sure oh, it's yeah. in. Please. The bump board ready. It doesn't feel giant, but it doesn't feel small. Okay, it feels kind of heavy. Alright, here's the right leader. Yep. Hey! That's a good one. Go. Nice way to start. Right. It's not, not a giant one, but we got our first fish. We're going to let this one go. It's cold out. We're going to get him back right away. All right. Nice work, buddy. Always feels good in a new spot. Always good in a new spot and always good getting the first fish jitters out. That one would have been a nice one to keep. A little, little, maybe a little big, but we don't even have the house set up yet, so I don't even want to worry about keeping a trout. We got the first fish on the board. That's good news. We've been going since like 4.50 this morning. And it's probably about 10.50 now. Haven't even got our stove set up in the house yet. We've just been going, 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 getting holes cut and trying to find what we want to set up. So feels good to get one in the bag. Nice work. Good mother. So I know I touched on how cold it is today, but tonight it's supposed to get down to about negative 30 degrees with wind chill. And that's Fahrenheit, so it's gonna be cold. It's gonna be a true negative 15, and then plus whatever we get with the, the wind chill. So we're, we're preparing for the worst. Right now it's 11 degrees Fahrenheit, and it feels like a tropical heat wave. You can actually have the gloves on. Kick some snow on to add some insulation. All right, I'm gonna set the cops up. You get the floor going. Now we got the bunk beds all set up. Now we gotta play with the new toy, which is the wood stove. Go, go, it's, it's bobbing, it's bobbing. Go, 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 go. Dan's hooked up right now. I'm trying to catch up with him. Does it feel very big? It's a big one. Really heavy, dude. It's a good sign. This is why we came up here. This is a giant. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I use my eyelids. Want to pop that? I can't move them. Oh my gosh. Eel pout? It's a giant giant eel pout? Big perch. <laughs> Big perch. Uh oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Set this down. Oh my god. It's barely on there, man. I know, I know. Just slow and steady with his head. I know, I know, I know. It's barely on there, I know, too. I know. Oh. We're gonna get pictures with this thing quick and we gotta get it back because it's cold. So look at that, look at that lake trout, dude. That's a giant. That's oh my gosh. Let's get a measurement on it really quick. We gotta get right back because that's it's too cold out for this stuff. 
I'll get a couple pictures here too. 38 and yeah. a half. Straighten her back up. It's bigger than that. It's almost 39. 39. 39. Okay, let me get a couple pictures of you. That is a true stud. Oh my gosh, look at these fins, dude. They're beautiful. Oh, that's a that's a great fish right there. Yeah. Not complaining at all. Yeah. Holy cow. Oh, geez, yep. her fins are already starting to freeze. Yep, I got her. I'm gonna Good. wait till she's ready. Yeah. I'm gonna hold her till she's ready to go. That's a fat 39 incher. Yeah, it is, man. Giant head on her, big fins. That's an old fish there. That's just such a cool fish. Some people ask me why I don't keep those. That's easily a 40 to 50 year old fish. I mean, it's such a cool fish. You want to get that fish back right away. As soon as you get out, if you're going to tape it, have the board ready, tape it, and get them back in. Yeah, I kind of said it better. It's so cold out that those fish will freeze within minutes, so you got to get the measurement, get a picture, and get it back. There's no monkeying around. Good work. Let's get you one. <laughs> well, ah, my hands are going to fall off. My hands are pretty frozen, too. You still got those hand warmers, or do you, you've no been idea. throwing them out of your jacket all day? I've been finding them, I'm following Put, you around and finding them. Hands are going in the yeah, once it started getting closer, I was like, yeah, this is big. All right, got her set back up. On to live and catch another day. There we go. Now we're doing something. Think that'll work? I hope so. Almost every time I've ever gone ice camping, I've always used propane heat. Tonight we're going to be using wood stove. So... We ended up hooking up a 45 degree turn for our exhaust chimney to come out the side. Now it's not ideal for the chimney to be sitting at an angle like this, but one of the joints I brought broke, so that's just gonna have to do. Dan and I are now gonna take the time to go find some wood on shore and bring one of the sleds with and brought hand saws and axes. Man, is it beautiful out here, though. Holy cow. All right, we got our first bunches of wood. Uh, looks pretty, you can't tell if it's dry or just frozen, but could at least burn, it's just not the most dense stuff. Got ourselves a mess of wood. I think this should probably be good enough for getting us through the night, but we'll see. It's a new stove, and it's a lot colder out today than I'm used to. Get a couple of stragglers. We gotta start cooking. All right, we've got the wood stove started for the first time. Um, there's definitely some trial and error going on, but we've got it fixed on a straight pipe now through the through the tent. The heat's not exactly rocking in here right now, but it's definitely warmer than it is outside, so that's a, that's a plus. But all of our water is frozen. The water filtration system I brought, frozen. And my stomach is hungry, so I brought Fresh smoked salmon, some sockeye salmon from a local spot. And a little little cheese spread. I'm gonna eat some of that. I'm gonna eat some cheese bread and salmon. Oh god, that looks so delicious. That was a bad boy. Yeah, thank you very much. How's that? It's really good. Smacking? Mm-hmm. Oh wow. I think that's hot. Okay, that's I don't need that much on there. Woo! Yeah, that that thing's, that thing's holy crank. It's turning out. Just drop it, drop it. Keep going. Keep, just keep dropping it. He's going to hit it right there. He's chasing it down. Let it go all the way to the bottom, no? Let it go all the way to the bottom. Let it go all the way to the bottom. Let it go all the way to the bottom. Let it go all the way to the bottom. All the way to the bottom. It's going to hit it on the drop. Keep, yeah, you want that. Eat it. No. Yeah! Oh, I cannot. No! Oh my god, that was cool. Dude, he's charged up. Looks like a pretty good fish. He's decent. Yeah. 
We're boiling up some water on the wood stove. Dan's got an MRE he was trying to eat, and then that fish came. It's a little smoky in here. That's the one thing that's probably annoying about the wood stove is it's going to be... A lot of smoke. Yeah, combating smoke. And a fire that wants to go out. It's not quite as promising as a, as a propane source, but it's working out pretty good so far. Just, just It's going to be a learning curve with anything new. Not that I haven't used a wood stove before, but I didn't use this wood stove before. Got a bag. I don't want to get Perfect. Like that. Check your drag before you set it. Yeah. I'm going to loosen it. Yeah. He's pulling. Yep. Feel like a good one? Nice trout. I think that's a nice one. Probably like a 32. Nice fish though. Yeah. That's a good one. Holy God, they get squirrely when they get that. You should get this on video. Oh, oh my. man. Just oh, he's losing just it. jump out of the hole. What the heck? Dan got to hold my fish earlier, so I'm holding his fish around. Look at that guy. This is a little bit bigger. It's a nice right, fish. Dip him? Here. Woo! <laughs> nice that work. That's awesome. <laughs> that's sick. Sweet. <laughs> Nice work. <laughs> Good job. Tarp's off. It's 41 degrees in here. We got a CO detector. A little carbon monoxide for the kid. You can see the alarm went off earlier when it was at like 70 ppm. But right now it's at 12, so that's where uh, we can survive. But good for the peace of mind knowing that uh, that's going to go off for us. Shows the humidity level, which is 53%. Won't we'll expect anything less. And we got a 41 degree temperature inside right now. Outside, we got outside. We got cold, like like negative 10 degrees right now. Cold, and then wind chill. Cold, negative 33 wind chill. And that's Fahrenheit for you Canadians. We're really happy about it. We're excited. <laughs> we caught fish. This thing probably be awesome in 10 degrees. It's, it's keeping us. It's it's doing it. It's keeping us warm. Yeah. The wind is blowing exactly in the opposite direction than it was before, so it's not the most ideal situation for our beloved wood stove. But you can see some, there's some carbon buildup up here. It was a lot worse on this side before, and I think that was enough to just cause the wind to blow right into our house. This thing's less than ripping right now, but I have hope that it'll sort itself out. All right, well, I've sort of got this thing figured out, but not really. What is that? It's a, uh, it's a cool 42 in here right now. It says 0% CO detected though, so that's good. We ended up moving the cots like from there to close to the fire so I can stoke it in the middle of the night, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and get into my little bunk. All right, my bag is rated for negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit and negative 30 Celsius. Dan's got a negative 10 degree Fahrenheit bag, so we should be, we should be a-okay even if this heater doesn't work at all. But it would be sure nice if it did. Good morning from sunny Canada. Slept like a bag of rocks last night because this thing kept smoking us out. It was up every like hour, uh, stoking the fire. And when the wind picked up, it started blowing directly at us. So now when we get wind, it's pushing smoke right into our faces. We got our carbon monoxide detector. It's sitting at 35 right now, which is less than ideal. But last night we saw it as high as like 70, I think, 75, which is not 100. good. 100? Yeah, whoops. Yeah. <laughs> Whoopsies. Got a little cold in the air last night, so. Got some fresh venison brats. Brought the cast iron in. I'm gonna cook some of these up for breakfast. 
to go with an MRE. Goes from okay to not okay real quick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, the sausage and damn hooks of fish. Is it very big? Nope. Here we go. Hey! Nice little trout. Just a little adolescent. Nice little trout. See you, buddy. Not gonna lie to you guys, last night was real rough. Uh, like, to the point where we almost had to leave in the middle of the night just because the wind was blowing this side and it was tough in here. It was, it was hard to breathe for some time, but what do you do? I mean, what we, we have, we have sleeping bags that are rated for, you know, negative 10, negative 20 degrees, but I chose to try to keep the fire going and maybe that was not a good decision. But I mean, even today it's like, I'm awake and this wood stove needs to constantly be babied because the wind's still coming from here or this way. And it's not like it's keeping it like insanely warm in here either. Right now we're sitting at a cool 50 degrees and that's the warmest it's been. And we have a propane heater running. So we only brought one or two of these one pound tanks and that'll run that heater for around 45 minutes each. We're gonna fish for the rest of the afternoon, but I think we'd both be pretty stupid if we decided to stay another night because tonight is gonna be even colder. I think we got away with one last night. Yeah. Venison brats are delicious. Oh, so this is what's gonna be this thing. Directly at that thing and it causes the stuff to smolder and it just pours out smoke. Oh, yeah. Is he going? We're getting smoked out of our tent right now. Trying to pack up. We've got one more flag. One last chance at this rodeo. Bonk them and bleed them. Well, got all our stuff packed up. Cleaned up our camp. Dan's already starting on the voyage over there. But I'm gonna put the phone away because it's cold, a little windy. <sighs> we did it. It was cold and long. And heavy. I just got home, got my first shower in after being immersed in smoke for the longest time. Uh, also, used a neti pot. So much soot just came out of my nose, it was insane. I don't know what it is with uh, my luck in heaters and heating things this winter, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. Um, we got some nice fish, always fun spending some time with Dan. He's on his way back home. But as always, until next time, you already know the drill, just keep on trucking.